Hello, my name is Dr. David Cohn. I'm the medical director of the Sleep Disorder Center at Princeton Medical Center. Today, I'd like to talk about some of the significant health consequences of sleep disorders. In the sleep center, I would say that the most common conditions that I deal with would include obstructive sleep apnea, insomnia, restless leg syndrome. For some people, it's just an inability to get sufficient amounts of sleep at night. They don't necessarily have a disorder of sleep, but really of the amount of time they have available to sleep. If someone were wondering whether they have a sleep disorder or not, part of the indication might come from a bed partner, particularly for a condition like obstructive sleep apnea, where they are observed by their bed partner to snore loudly, uh, they may be told that they stop breathing at night, that they gasp for air. And these are things that patients with sleep apnea often have no awareness whatsoever that, they, that these events are occurring. And they're occurring sometimes hundreds of times per night. And they can't believe when they actually get diagnosed that this sort of thing is happening on a nightly basis. A number of people are not aware of how important it is to get sufficient amount of sleep. And there are a lot of studies that have looked at health consequences of insufficient sleep. About 30% of adults sleep no more than six hours a night. And really the data supports a need for a minimum of, of uh, seven hours and preferably seven to eight hours of sleep nightly. The medical community in general has been remiss in, in evaluating people in terms of their sleep quantity uh, because it's more than just being tired as a consequence of not getting enough sleep. There are significant health consequences. And just like we should screen people and talk about their exercise level and do they smoke and how much alcohol, we need to be asking people how many hours of sleep are you getting. There are other health consequences that can affect the cardiovascular system. People who don't get enough sleep have an increased activation of uh, what's called the sympathetic nervous system, which is your fight or flight response, where you produce excessive adrenaline. That can cause your blood pressure to run higher and increase your risk of other cardiovascular complications. There is an increased risk of, of diabetes. People who don't get enough sleep, they often have an increased appetite. They often will eat the wrong things. They will gain weight. They tend to be more sedentary. They may engage in late night snacking there can be mood disturbances associated with insufficient sleep, the increased risk of depression. There may be increased ability to tolerate pain. So people with chronic pain syndromes may find it they are requiring more medication for their pain if they're not getting sufficient sleep. And even some data suggests the possibility of early mortality as a consequence of chronically having insufficient sleep. It's incredibly important for patients to realize that they should not settle for insufficient sleep or poor quality sleep. There's so much that can be done that can have a dramatic impact on quality of life. You should speak to your physician and address these concerns with your primary care doctor or contact the sleep center at the Princeton Medical Center. We will see you for an evaluation and if indicated, we can do a sleep study to further investigate your concerns.